Hallelujah. Praise God. I speak grace and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ over each of your hearts and your minds and your lives. I want to welcome you. Hallelujah. Listen, it's such an honor to come. Hallelujah. And to be able to be an extension of God's love to you. I want to take a moment just to pray and to ask the Holy Spirit to come and to have his way. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you, Amy. God bless you. God bless each one of you within the sound of my voice. Again, I just want to speak grace and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ over your hearts, your minds, and your lives. God bless you, Usha, and God bless you, Pat. Thank you so much for sharing the broadcast. Hallelujah. God bless you, Akshay. God bless you. Listen, I want to encourage each of you to share the broadcast today because I believe that God is going to move in such a powerful way. Amen. For his purpose, for his glory alone. Hallelujah. So I want to take a moment just to pray and to invite the Holy Spirit to come. And I want to encourage encourage each one of you to open your eyes and your ears and your hearts wide open today just to receive. Amen. The Lord put it in my heart to do something very special for our Easter service today. Amen. God wants me to do some art as worship today. Amen. The Bible tells us in John chapter 4 verse 23 and 24 that the hour is coming and is now when the true worship Worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For God is looking for those who will worship him in spirit and truth. And God is spirit. And that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Listen, God is so worthy of our praise. Amen. Listen, Jesus was willing to give us his very best when he went to the cross for you and for me. Amen. He went to the cross for us and he was willing to be crucified to be beaten amen and i am so grateful and thankful that we serve a risen savior amen but he gave us his very best amen and so i want to encourage you to give your best back to him too amen by living a life of surrender and a life of worship amen praise god praise god and so I'm going to play some worship songs and I am going to prophesy and pray over people too, but I'm going to start with just a worship song and some art as worship. But before I do, I want to encourage you to share the broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. God has given me a word as well that I believe will encourage and strengthen each one of you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I feel like God wants me just to pray in the Holy Spirit here for a moment. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to invite you to as well. Amen. Listen, uh, the Bible says to pray in the Spirit on all occasions, to pray in the Holy Spirit and in the understanding. Amen. And I just want God to have his perfect will and way in this service today. Amen. So Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are our comforter, our helper, our faithful friend, that you encourage us, that you strengthen us, that you lead us, that you guide us, that you empower us, that you teach us that you help us lord to walk in the fullness of life that is ours in and through jesus christ and jesus i wanted to just thank you again so much for being willing to go to the cross for each one of us to be the pure and the spotless lamb that was slain we give you absolutely all glory all honor king jesus hallelujah he has shoku urra arra tiki enana maria dia dorra haratia dam there is none 
like you. There is none like you and your love reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love. Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, just to saturate each person within the sound of my voice with the blood of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, honor, praise. We reverence your presence. We thank you, Holy One. You are holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty, and so worthy of all glory, all honor, all praise. Ki in an amaria dia do roku nunamuho rahara hara diata. God bless you, Jamie. God bless you, Sagar and Akshay and Balia. It's so good to see each one of you. God bless you. Dolan, God bless you. God bless just each of you within the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. I am so excited. I know that the Lord is just going to move in such a powerful way. And we are celebrating, hallelujah, the resurrected Christ. Amen. I'm so grateful and thankful that we serve a, a living savior hallelujah it's such an honor to serve him amen he is the king of kings and the lord of lords hallelujah hallelujah love each one of you praise god praise god if you'll give me just a minute here i'm trying to share the broadcast just to a couple spots real quick because when i start doing art as worship my hands will be tied up amen so father i do just consecrate my hands to you i ask you papa just to flow through my hands and i ask you to flow through my voice lord as i speak the words that you give me to say to lord god i pray lord god just that your breath would go forth, Father. Your breath of life, Lord. I thank you for your breath of life. I thank you for your spirit, for your goodness, your faithfulness, your love, Lord. You know, God is love, pure love, pure love. Amen. God put it in my heart to draw what love looks like for you guys today. Amen. So I want to encourage you to, as we enter into worship, to not be just a spectator. Amen. But to also join in worship, whatever that looks like to you, you know, worship God from a heart of love, a heart of ad adoration. Amen. Let's reverence his presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we do. We reverence your presence. We give you all glory, all honor, all praise. There is absolutely none like you. None like you. We thank you, King Jesus. We thank you, King Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So I've shared to a few spots. I want to encourage you to share to a few spots too. Amen. Because I believe that this broadcast and this Easter service as we celebrate our resurrected Savior is going to be a blessing that there's going to be an, an anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's going to encourage you and strengthen you today. Amen. You know, the Bible talks about how God blesses us when we are faithful and obedient. Amen. And this service is an act of obedience. Amen. It's simply a time of surrender, of listening to the Holy Spirit and letting God do what he wants to do. Amen. For his purpose and his glory alone. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Just one moment here. I want to share just to one more spot. God bless you, Kathleen. God bless you. God bless each of you within the sound of my voice today. Hallelujah. We give God glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
praise God. So what I'm going to do again, like I said already, is I want to do art as worship. I want to encourage you to join in with me, whether you worship with song or whether you do something creative too. Amen. And then after I do art as worship, I want to pray and prophesy and give a word that the Holy Spirit spoke to me to share with you. And I will pray and prophesy individually for people to just as the Holy Spirit leads me to. Amen. And I just know that God is going to move and do what he's promised to for his purpose and glory alone. So I'm excited. So if you know of someone that needs to just be encouraged or strengthened or that you think would benefit from joining just a broadcast that's a celebration of Jesus and and some fellowship with the Holy Spirit and some fellowship also um, just with each other too, then invite them invite them to come and join the broadcast today hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah god bless you god bless you praise god so hallelujah how many of you are ready to worship how many of you are ready just to sacrifice our hearts and our minds to the Lord and just offer him that sacrifice of praise. Amen. To lay our lives down and surrender. Amen. Let's lay our lives down and surrender today. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Dipti. God bless you. It's good to see you. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited. I'm excited to worship. I'm excited to worship. Amen. Come and magnify the Lord with me. Amen. Let's exalt his name together. Amen. Praise God. Looking at me, I saw. 
saw him there, hanging on a tree, looking at me. He was looking at me, looking at him, staring through me. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. I could not escape. We give you praise. It was beautiful.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's continue to worship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is the question I will What is love? What is love? What is I 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, we were made for love. We were made for love. Amen. God loved us so absolutely much that he sent us Jesus. Amen. According to John 3 16, amen. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son that whosoever believed in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. And we are able to respond to that great love, amen, by living a life of worship, by living a life of surrender, amen. Praise God, praise God. So 
I just want to encourage each of you today to live a life of surrender, a life of worship, and to respond to the great love that that God demonstrated when he sent us Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Jesus, we want to thank you so much for your willingness to go, to go to the cross, to die for each one of us so that we could live in you and walk in the abundance of life that is ours in and through you and we choose to we choose to praise god we thank you lord we thank you we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise amen amen hallelujah 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 praise god praise god hallelujah thank you jesus All right. Praise God. So, so it may not be absolutely perfect. Amen. But it's absolutely from my heart. Amen. And I love Jesus. I'm so grateful and thankful that we serve a risen Savior. Amen. Listen, God is great and greatly greatly to be praised amen i want to encourage you to live that life of worship and to know that what jesus took to the cross is not yours to carry amen amen what he took to the cross is not yours to carry amen i'm so grateful and thankful for the finished work of the cross amen hallelujah hallelujah praise god praise god you know the bible tells us in john chapter 12 verse 32 if i be lifted up i will draw all men unto me amen you know when jesus went to the cross he took you into him he took me into him amen and he delivered us from sin amen he was our champion amen you know i want you to think about that today how jesus was our champion he fought for you he fought for me amen he redeemed us from the curse of sin amen he redeemed us from death amen when we receive jesus amen we are set free from death. We are set free from sin. Amen. We can walk in the fullness of life that is ours in and through Jesus Christ. And we're made righteous. We're made holy. Amen. Praise God. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Day. Listen, I'm just so grateful and thankful. And my hands are going to be dirty today. But I'm so grateful and thankful that we serve serve a, a risen savior that we serve a risen savior god is so good and so great and so greatly to be praised amen he is worthy he's worthy of all honor all glory all praise so i was praying about what to talk about today and there's several things that the lord brought to my heart amen so one of the things that god god brought to my heart was how jesus took us into him when he went to the cross amen he took our suffering, our pain, our affliction, our sorrow, our shame. He took everything that could ever come against you into him. Amen. So that when we face obstacles, we can bring them to him. We can lay them at the foot of the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that was one of the things and I'm going to go more into that. Amen. But before I do, I want to talk to you about how Jesus is your champion and how God is calling you to be a champion in Christ Jesus too. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless each one of you. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast, you fury. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 And so God wanted me to talk with you guys today about how, you know, Jesus was our champion. So what is a champion? What is a champion? Amen. Hallelujah. What do you think a champion is? I want to hear what you think a champion is. Amen. Hallelujah. I looked up the definition of a champion. Amen. It gave two definitions. Uh, the first definition was that it's a person who has defeated or surpassed all rivals or all odds. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we know that you know, Jesus conquered death. 
He conquered hell. You know, he took the keys from from the enemy, you know, and he gave us life, fullness of life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, the second definition of a champion was a person who fights or arg argues for the cause of or on behalf of someone else. Amen. Listen, Jesus was willing to fight for you. He was willing to argue for you. He was willing to lay down his life for you. Amen. Amen. God wants us to know that he was our champion, that he defeated sin, that he defeated death, that he defeated every affliction and every infirmity and every sorrow, every sickness, every pain, every shame. It was defeated when Jesus went to the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. And God wants you to know today that as a child of God who's in Christ Jesus, that you're a champion too that you're a champion to amen god wants you to rise up and do those things that he's called you to with fearless faith with fearless faith hallelujah the bible tells us in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 thanks be to god who gives us victory through our lord jesus christ amen god has given us every victory through the cross Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm so grateful and I'm thankful for the victory that we have in Jesus. Amen. God has made us victors and not victims. Amen. We are overcomers by the blood of the lamb, by the word of our testimony. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in first john chapter 4 verse 4 you are of god little children and you have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world amen so god wants you to know that because of jesus amen that we've been given every victory that he was our champion that he has made us to be champions too we've been redeemed we've been redeemed hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter one, verse seven, in him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Amen. Praise God. Jesus was the spotless lamb of God. You know, he was the final Passover lamb. Amen. He was the one that became the final sacrifice when he took us into him amen and god wants you to know today that you're in him that you've been redeemed you know one of my heart verses is acts 17 28 where it says that it's in him that we live and we move and we have our being amen god wants us to just realize that we take up residence in his peace and his presence and his love and his joy and his strength and his hope you know, Jesus is the hope of glory. Amen. Um, if you've been dealing with any kind of heaviness, depression, sickness, pain, I want you to know today that it's God's will to take that heaviness off of you. Amen. The Bible says not to be weary and well-doing, you know, uh, and also that God, you know, will renew our strength. Amen. And he is our source of strength. The Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, 10, that we can be strong in him and the power of his might. Amen. So I want to encourage each one of you just to realize that you've been redeemed, redeemed from the curse. The Bible tells us in Galatians chapter three, verse 13, that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. Amen. Amen. But there was something too that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me like literally right before the broadcast within like 15 minutes before it was time to go live. And he was talking to me about how some people don't realize um, the battle that happens in the spiritual realms in the spiritual realms. And God wants for you to have eyes to see. The Bible says that we have eyes to see, that we have ears to hear. Amen. God wants us to understand that, that there is a spiritual battle going on. Amen. You know, there's angels, there's demons. In fact, the Bible tells us in Psalm 91 verses 9, 10, and 11, that no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come nigh us, because God gives his angels 
charge over us. Amen. And so God wants us to know that he's given us angels. He's given us the Holy Spirit because there is a war. There is a war. There is a darkness in this earth. Amen. But Christ was the light and Christ was the victory. Amen. And Jesus is our resurrected Lord and Savior and light always pierces the darkness. And Jesus is with you and for you. And he's redeemed you from the darkness. And when you are a child of God, you're a child of light. Amen. God is light. And in him, there is absolutely no darkness. Amen. And so through that redemption, we become the light of God. We have the light of God in us. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And light always, 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 always pierces the darkness. But God wants you to understand that there is a war happening in the spiritual realms. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. You know, some people, they want to ignore the fact that there's angels and demons, you know, and God wants you to be aware. He wants you to know that you've been given the victory and that you are a champion, but also to be aware of those things that are taking place in the spiritual realms. Amen. Because God wants for you to take dominion. You're a child of God. Praise God. Hey, love you, Michelle. Love you, sister. So good to see you. God bless you. Happy Resurrection Day. Amen. Happy Resurrection Day to you, Judy, too. Thank you so much for coming on the broadcast. And, and you, Anthony, too, and Usha, God bless each of you within the sound of my voice. Just praise God. Listen, I love you. I love you guys. Amen. And God loves you. He loves you so much, loves you so much that he sent Jesus. You know, we are celebrating Jesus today. Amen. And what he did for us, how he was willing to go to the cross. You know, he became our every, our every victory. Amen. I love how Luke chapter 1 verse 68 says, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Amen. Listen, listen, hallelujah. We've been redeemed from the curse. We've been redeemed from, from the rulers of darkness. You know, we are the champions. We are the victors. We're the ones that have been given all power, all dominion, all authority. Amen. Praise God. Because of Jesus. Because of Jesus. Amen. And God wants for you to understand that it's time to take dominion. That it's time to take dominion as the champion that God's called you to be. And that there's territories too that God has for you to take. Just like Jesus was willing to fight for you. Amen. God wants for you to be willing to fight for your territory and to take those territories that God has called you to. Amen. Amen. So listen, the devil is defeated and Jesus is Lord. Jesus is a, a living, resurrected Savior. Amen. And through him, we have redemption. We have been sanctified. We are blood-bought children of the Most High God. Amen. We are holy habitats. Amen. We have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is with us to help us each and every single day. I love Second Corinthians chapter 13, verses 14. It says, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. You know, because Jesus, you know, was willing to do what he did for us, how he was willing to, to die and to be raised, to be crucified, to be raised and, and to be seated next to God as our, as our um, advocate. He's our advocate. Amen. But he sent us the Holy Spirit to be with us, to help us, you know, to empower us, to strengthen us, to help us to walk in that fullness of life that is ours in and through Jesus Christ. And so it's the Holy Spirit. Amen. That empowers us. Amen. And, and, reminds us of what God has to say too. In fact, the Bible tells us that he'll, he'll guide us into all truth according to John 16, 13, but he'll also remind us of everything that God has to say. And I want you to think about this. The Bible tells us that Jesus was the word that became flesh. Amen. And so it's important to hold God's word in our heart. Amen. To understand that, that, um, part of that, 
being crucified with Christ and buried and raised and uh, seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places is being seated in the word, resting in the word. Amen. Relying on the word, standing on the word. Amen. 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 So happy Easter, happy resurrection day to each one of you. I want you to know that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, that you've been redeemed from every sorrow, every sickness, every shame, every pain. Amen. Anything that could come against you, any care, any worry, any fear. Amen. Because God is with you and you are sanctified. You are a blood bought child of the most high God. Amen. And he is with you. He is for you. And you are his dwelling place. You are his temple and he is your dwelling place. Amen. He's promised to never leave you or never forsake you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful and thankful for what Jesus did and how he gave us the Holy Spirit because now we can have a fellowship. We can have an indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, God is constantly with us and in us. Amen. We are full of the Holy Spirit. We're full of power. Amen. And God wants you to understand that you've been given that power and that strength and that you are, you are blessed. You are not cursed through the head, that you're not the tail, that you're above, that you're not beneath. Amen. Because of what Jesus did for us. Amen. Hallelujah. And so God wants us to understand that not only in ourselves, but also that God is calling us to rise up and to take our territories, to be the champions that God has called us to be. And so I just was speaking to the Holy Spirit and asking him for a word for today. Amen. And he was talking to me about several things and I've been sharing part of them, but I want to continue with just how God has created you to be a champion too. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 5 verses 4 and 5, everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God. Amen. And so when you, when you receive Jesus, when you receive the finished work of the cross and he becomes your Lord and Savior and your champion, amen, then you're given the DNA, the DNA of Jesus. Amen. You become a child of the most high God. You become redeemed and sanctified and you have the DNA, the DNA of the most high God, of a champion inside of you. You become new. Amen. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, if any man is in Christ Jesus, that he is a new creation, that old things have passed away and all things have become new. Amen. And so God wants for you to rest in the fact that you've been redeemed, that you're a child, that you're beloved, that you're accepted, that you're not rejected, and that as a child of God, you're a joint heir with Christ Jesus. He was the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. And so Jesus is our brother. He's our Lord. He's our savior. Amen. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, you know, but he's also our brother, our redeemer, our friend, amen. Our deliverer, our helper, our, our strength, our strong tower. Amen. The Bible tells us in Psalm 84 verse 11, that the Lord God is a son and a shield that he gives favor and glory that no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Amen. And the Bible tells us in Psalm 46 verse 1 that God is our refuge, our strength, and our ever-present help. Amen. Hallelujah. And so God wants you to know that because of Jesus, we can have a personal relationship with him. We have fellowship with him. We have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we rest in him. We rest in his goodness. We rest in his faithfulness. We rest in his love. Amen. And we're seated with Jesus. We're seated with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 verses 16 and 17 says the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if we are children, then we are heirs of God, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we're willing to suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Amen. I love 1 John chapter 
3 verse 1 where it says what great love the father has lavished upon us that we should be called children of god and that is what we are i want each and every one of you to say i am a child of the most high god amen i've been redeemed Hallelujah. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. I'm sanctified. I'm holy. Amen. The Bible says be holy because I am holy. Well, we are holy because he is holy. Amen. Because we've been made holy. We've been washed in the blood of Jesus. We've been washed in the word. Amen. When we receive it, it washes us away. You know, I, I think of how there's nothing that can wash away our sin but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Only the pure and the spotless land of God could wash away our sin and our sorrows and our shame and and redeem us and sanctify us amen but he did he did and we have so much to be grateful and thankful for amen amen and God just wants you to get that in your spirit today that you're a child of God that you've been redeemed that you're holy that you're sanctified that you're a champion amen that you're more than a conqueror amen that Christ Jesus is with you that he's your friend that the Holy Spirit is with you to teach you to lead you to guide you to help you to empower you to walk in the fullness of life that is yours in and through Jesus Christ hallelujah the Bible tells us in John 10 10 that Jesus came that we might have life and life more abundantly and so it's God's will for each one of us to walk in the abundance of life that is ours in and through Jesus Christ amen but that comes also through being willing to identify with who God says that we are and God wants for each of us to develop a word image to understand that we are who he says that we are amen and whenever there's something that's contrary to what God has to say then we have to take that to the foot of the cross to the feet of Jesus and we have to say God you know what this is contrary to your word so this has no place in me that's why the Bible says that we're to cast down all imagination and everything that would exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus amen and so God wants to establish you in his word in his will in his love in his peace in his presence in the finished work of the cross but he also wants for you to understand that when things come against you and things rise in your emotions or you know there's something in your life that's pressing against you that you can take that to Jesus and that you can leave it with him. Amen. Because you've been redeemed from those things. Hallelujah. And you're in him and he's in you. Amen. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, to cast our cares upon the Lord because he cares for us. Amen. So listen today, if you're carrying any kind of care, then I want to encourage you to get ready just to let it go to let it go amen because God doesn't want for you to carry cares he wants to carry you in fact the Bible tells us you know all you who are weary and heavy laden come to me and I will give you rest amen we're able to rest at the finished work of the cross we're able to rest in Jesus amen God bless you, Linda. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast today. Happy Resurrection Day. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so I just want to encourage you, you know, to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. He's the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He's with us. He's for us. He's promised to never leave us or forsake us. Amen. And in him, we have every victory, every victory. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 14 says, thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph and Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus, we're always led in triumph. Amen. Hallelujah. And in Christ Jesus, God also works all things out for our good. Amen. Amen. Um, Minister Anthony, you're absolutely right. You know, I was like saying that verse, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. That comes from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. 
That's Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 And so, you know, I'm just grateful. I'm thankful for God's goodness, for his faithfulness, for his love. Amen. That he's with us, that he's for us, that we serve a living Savior. Amen. And that God's word is alive and active. Amen. And working on our behalf too. Amen. God wants you to know that his word works. Amen. That his word will go forth and accomplish what he sent it forth to do. Amen. God is not man that he should lie, nor son of man that he would change his mind. Amen. When God sends forth his word, it will accomplish what he sent it forth to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And so God wants you to know that he surrounds you with favor as a shield. Amen. There's someone within the sound of my voice that you've been discouraged. You've been discouraged and God wants to encourage you today. He wants for you to fix your eyes on Jesus, who is your resurrected Savior. Hmm. He's with you. He's for you. He loves you. He loves you. Amen. He's so much bigger and greater than anything that could ever come against you today. Amen. And so I want to encourage you to turn your eyes toward Jesus. Turn your eyes toward Jesus. Amen. He is God's love, a demonstration of God's love. Amen. And he's with us and he's for us. Praise God. The Bible tells us in Psalm 46 verse 1 that God is our refuge and our strength, our ever-present help. Amen. And God just wants you to know that he's with you, that he's for you, that he loves you. The Bible says in this world that we'll have many troubles, but to not worry because God overcame the world, that Jesus overcame the world, and that we are overcomers, amen, through, through Jesus, through Jesus, through the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, we are more than conquerors, amen, and God is so much bigger, so much greater, and I love that verse, Judy, that says, if God is for us, then who could be against us. Amen. So turn your eyes toward Jesus today. Focus on his goodness. Focus on his faithfulness. Focus on his love. Focus on the finished work of the cross. Amen. Know that what Jesus took to the cross is not yours to carry. Amen. And if you've been carrying any sorrow, any pain, any sickness, any shame, rejection, fear, unforgiveness, bitterness, anything, that's been holding you down, pressing you down, oppressing you, then you can let that go today. Amen. I want to encourage you to let go and to let God, to lay it at the foot of the cross and to realize that God is with you, for you, and has empowered you to be a champion, a victor, not a victim. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to pray just a prayer over you. And then I want to start to just pray and prophesy over you too, as the Holy Spirit leads me to. Amen. You know, each one of us, we walk through storms of life. You know, it happens. It happens. But the good news is that God is with us, that he's for us, that he walks with us, that he talks with us, and that the victory belongs to us in Jesus. Amen. That it's a finished work, that it's a done deal, and that God will always cause us to triumph. Excuse me for just a minute here. Hallelujah. I was thirsty for some water. Praise God. Praise God. And you know what? I, I love how, I love how that um, we can be filled. When we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we will be filled. Amen. The Bible says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. God wants for you to hunger, for you to thirst. Amen. For you to rest in his goodness, his faithfulness, and his love. Amen. You know, he says, come unto me. Come unto me and I will give you rest. And he says that when we hunger, when we thirst, that we will be filled. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I love Psalm 23 where it says that he prepares for us a table in the presence of our enemies. How many of you know that even in the midst of a storm or a trial, that God has a blessing for you? He has fresh manna, fresh bread. He has anointings. He has his strength and his spirit and his love to just carry you through and, and to help you to walk as a 
as a victor, not a victim. Amen. Amen. So I'm just going to say a quick prayer over everyone. Amen. And then I want to just pray and prophesy too. So, so Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love, your love that was demonstrated when you sent us Jesus. Lord, to be our champion, to fight for us, to redeem us, Lord, from sin and from death, from sickness, pain, shame, Lord God. We just thank you. We receive the finished work of the cross, Lord God. And Father, I thank you too that, um, that we can lay down our burdens, that we can cast our cares on you. And that we don't have to carry cares because Jesus already carried them to the cross, Lord God. And so I want to thank you, Father, that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I ask you, Father, right now just to flood forth your Spirit, your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace over each person within the sound of my voice right now. In Jesus' name, I apply the blood of Jesus over each person within the sound of my voice. Listen, there's somebody that's listening to me right now that you've been dealing with a, an attack of witchcraft. An attack of witchcraft. I just feel a heaviness and a witchcraft that has come against you. Well, guess what? You've been redeemed from every curse. You are blessed. You are not cursed. And so right now I just bind and I rebuke that attack of witchcraft right now. That heaviness, that pressure even on your head right now. I command that pressure to go, to lift right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, go. Right now. I speak to every, every um afflicting spirit right now in jesus name and i command it to go in jesus name in jesus name all heaviness lift and go right now in the name of jesus right now go now in jesus name in jesus name praise god praise god praise god happy easter to you too daniel zia god bless you and your family love you Love you. Daniel Zia is one of my spiritual sons from Pakistan, and I'm super just proud of him and, and the way that he is humble and kind and surrendered, allowing the Holy Spirit just to use him for God's purpose and glory. Amen. God is moving powerfully in Pakistan and all around the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You've been redeemed. I want you to know that you have been redeemed. There's some of you that you have had things that are trying to hold on to you. The Lord is reminding me right now just of the story of Lazarus, the story of Lazarus. Amen. And so in the story of Lazarus, Lazarus was dead, right? And Jesus cried out and, you know, told him to come forth, you know, and he came forth and he was full of life, but he was still bound. He was still bound. Amen. So God wants to set the captives free tonight. If there's anything that has been trying to hinder you or bind you, God wants to remove those barriers today. Amen. The Lord's just bringing this to my heart. Amen. You have been redeemed from all bondage. You are holy ground. You are a blood-bought child of the most high God. Amen. And so you've been redeemed and sanctified from the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And so, Father, right now, I just declare your fullness of life, Lord God. Father, I want to thank you for an open heaven. I just thank you, Lord God, that you're pouring your spirit out upon all flesh, Lord God, and that all needs all and that where the spirit of the lord is there is freedom lord god we thank you for the victory that we have in jesus we thank you for the joy that we have in jesus lord we thank you for the peace that we have in jesus lord god we thank you that our homes are shalom domes that our minds have been sanctified lord god we surrender our minds we surrender our lives lord god Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to just repeat Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 again. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse, having become a curse for us. Amen. Hallelujah. 
God bore it so you didn't have to bear it. Amen. God is with you. He is for you. He loves you. And he is mighty. And he fights your battles because the victory already belongs to you. Amen. You just have to be willing to walk out the victory through your faith. You know, you are an overcomer, but that means too, that your words have to line up with what God has to say. Amen. You overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So listen, I want to start praying over you guys. Amen. I want to prophesy. So hallelujah. If you would like me to pray over you or prophesy over you, if you have a prayer request, then please go ahead and just type your prayer request because I want to pray for you. Amen. I want to pray for you. We know that what Jesus took to the cross is not ours to carry. Amen. The Bible tells us in the third book of John, chapter one, verse two, beloved, I wish above all else for you to be in good health and to prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. So we know that God wants you to prosper in every way and to be in good health. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Linda, you're asking me just to tell you what God is speaking to me about you. So I'm going to just lift you before Father. Father, right now, I just lift up Linda to you. I lift up Linda to you. Father says that you're in a time of transition, Linda. I see like a wind of change. I see God like blowing over you, like just a real gentle wind, like a wind of the spirit, but just real softly and sweetly. There's like a real gentleness. It's just a real tender love that he's blowing over you. Amen. But he says that you've been in just a time of transition. That you're moving forward. That he's taking you from strength to strength and glory to glory. And I see like a teapot that's on a, on a flame. On a flame. Amen. Um, I see a teapot that's on a flame and it's full of water and I see that it's um, it's been getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Amen. And, and God says that you're like that teapot, that you're a vessel, that you're full of the Holy Spirit. The water represents like the Holy Spirit. And I see that his glory has been just manifesting in you. Amen. And he's just raising you up for his purpose and plan. Amen. And he says that he's giving you a victory shout. Amen. Because I see, you know, I see the kind of teapot, amen, that that will like whistle, <laughs> that will whistle when the water comes to boil. Amen. Hallelujah. God says this been, has been a time of preparation for you and a time of healing too, that there's been some healing that he's done in your soul. Amen but that he loves you, that you're beautiful, that you're precious to him. Amen. But that he's strengthening you, encouraging you. And this is your time. This is your season that he's been preparing you and getting you to the right temperature. Amen. The Bible says that he is a consuming fire. And I just see that you've been on a hot plate. And so that also means too, that, you know, he's been sanctifying you and just removing every obstacle and hindrance and thing, things that would try to come against you to keep you from moving forward in the fullness of his purpose and plan. You know, the Bible says that the hills melt like wax in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So again, I just see you in a resting place, but I also see you on the fire and, and full of fire, full of the Holy Spirit. And God just saying that this is your season, this is your time, this is your moment, that he's been transitioning you, strengthening you, helping you, preparing you, filling you, amen, filling you up so that he could pour you out, amen, amen, hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Yes, there has been just a healing, a healing too. And so, Father, right now I just speak that healing to over Linda, Father, ki in and a Maria dia do roku and a Maria tiki er haratiata. Father, I want to thank you that joy comes, that joy comes in the morning, Lord, and that you're a faithful Father. You are Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Lord God. You are the one who strengthens us and helps us, Lord God. And that even in the midst of the fire, you help us to not be burned, Lord God. That you're the one, Lord, that comes in and is just our refuge and our strength and our ever-present help to you as you as you prepare us to do the things that you've called us to, Lord God, I just speak fullness and fullness of life and strength over your daughter, Lord. And I, I do believe there's just such a gentleness that Papa wants to just administer to you, Linda. I, Again, the Lord's just showing me and I'm sensing just a soft, gentle, loving breeze just blowing over you, a breath of life, a gentleness. God says, I want to just hold you in my peace and my presence. So, Father, right now, I just release your breath of life over your daughter in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want to apologize that my hands are, are dirty as I pray, but I was using charcoal when I was drawing. Amen. So, I will have hands that are covered in charcoal. Amen. As I pray. But Father, we love you. We praise you for your beautiful and, and faithful daughter, Lord God. We thank you that you have a beautiful purpose and plan for her, Lord God, that you're lifting her up, that you're just her source of strength and help, and that you're just so much greater to within her, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for the fire of your love, Lord that just consumes her too, Lord. Just be with her in every way. Bless her, keep her, protect her, help her, take her deeper into you. And I just speak a deep healing, Lord. Uproot, Lord God. Uproot anything that's been hidden deep too right now. In Jesus' name. I, I pray that the Lord will help you too just to remove any wall that you've placed around your heart. You know, sometimes when we've been hurt and um, we have things inside of us, we have a need for healing. Sometimes we'll build a wall around those places and God wants us to remove those walls. Amen. Amen. So that he can minister to us and he doesn't want for us to, to fear. You know, God's not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Elaine, you're asking me to pray for, for Bill's health and I would be happy be happy to do that. Um, love and prayers to you too. Amen. So Father, we thank you so much. We thank you so much, Lord, just for your faithfulness and your love, Lord. We thank you that, you know, it's your will to heal. We thank you, Lord, that according to Psalm 107, verse 20, that you send forth your word uh, to heal. And right now we just release your word right now. In Jesus' name, right now, right now. Father, we thank you that your word is a healing word, that it's a word of life, Lord God, that it's full of your peace, that it's full of your presence, and that it's the standard that's raised. And so right now, I declare and I decree just healing over Bill's body right now in the name of Jesus. Everything trying to exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus right now, I uproot it. I command it to go now in Jesus' name right now, right now. In Jesus' name. And Father, I just release your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace. I thank you, Papa, for the Holy Spirit. I thank you that you flood over Bill right now with the Holy Spirit, with the blood of Jesus, with your living waters, Lord, with the healing balm of Gilead right now, with your life and with your peace right now. In Jesus' name, I command his body to line up with the living word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I do pray for backs a lot, but I feel like there's someone within the sound of my voice that you've been dealing with some back pain. And so I want to just deal with that too. You know, God loves to heal us. He loves to heal us. He loves to help us. Amen. Hallelujah. 
happen. But before I pray for back pain, Linda, I wanted to speak blessings over your ministry. You are appointed. You are anointed. Listen, God was saying that this is your season. This is your time. You know, you've been through a lot. You've been on the fire. Amen. But he's with you. He's for you. He's helping you. He's healing you. And he's using you. Amen. Amen. This is your appointed season, your appointed time. I just want to bless your gifts and your calling right now. You are a mighty woman of God, and I bless that. I bless that. I stir up those gifts, and I release his gifts in a greater measure over you right now. I just release his strength and his spirit and his help and his joy and his peace and his love and his life and healing in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. I hear the Lord say that you'll lay hands on the sick and they will recover too. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. God bless you, Sister Sandra. Good to see you. God bless you. He has Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Kathleen, you are asking for prayer for money that's been delayed and also for your health and direction. And so I would be happy to pray for you. So Father, right now, I just want to thank you for Kathleen. I want to thank you that you are a faithful father that your hand is not short, that your word is not weak, that you do what you've promised to, and that one of your names is Jehovah Jireh, that you are our provider and that you've promised to meet our every need. And so right now, I bind and I rebuke any uh, spirit of delay to right now, any opposition to the blessing that's tried to block the blessing, any hindering spirit, any assignment to block and hinder, I bind it, I rebuke it, I sever it, I command it to go. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I call forth the blessing from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Lord God, I ask you, Father, just to bless your daughter, Father. Bless her in every way. Bless her with peace, too, Lord, and joy. Right now, I thank you that she has peace in your presence. I declare peace over you, Kathleen. I declare health over you. I declare fullness of life. Father, I want to thank you that your word is the standard that's raised. Father, I want to thank you that according to Isaiah 53, verse 5, that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement that brought us peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. So right now I just command your body, Kathleen, to line up with the living word of God right now in the name of Jesus right now. He has shoku urra aratiki in a maria dia do rohoraratiata. And right now, anything that's tried to exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus, I command it to go now in the name of Jesus right now. He has shoku urra aratiki in a maria dia do rohoraratiata. I thank you, Lord. We give you glory and honor and praise father we thank you for the open heaven over your daughter lord yes judy i agree with that father we thank you for your goodness and your mercy and your grace lord god and we just call forth everything that's of you in her life lord god right now we thank you lord that she will walk in the fullness of life that is hers in and through jesus christ and that she's been redeemed from lack and she's been redeemed from sickness and pain and shame and rejection and everything lord that would try to weigh her down lord god right now i just speak redemption and i speak restoration i hear the lord saying restoration he's bringing restoration restoration. Father, everything that the enemy tried to take that was not his to take, I command him to give it back sevenfold, Father. In Jesus' name, I speak restoration, Lord. In Jesus' name, restoration over finances, restoration over health, restoration just over relationships and life in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Sandra, you're asking for us for me to pray uh, for you to be able to buy your first home and to have what you need, amen, to renew your vows. Listen, God loves to meet your needs and he's promised to meet your needs according to his riches and glory, amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so I wanna just speak his word over you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. So right now, Father, I declare and I decree, Lord, that you are her provider, Lord God. You are Jehovah Jireh, her provider, Lord. You're a good father. 
you promise to meet our needs according to your riches and glory, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We ask you, Lord, just to do what you've promised to, and we place it in your hands. And Father, right now, I ask you just to also remove any heaviness from her. I speak to any spirit of heaviness, anxiety, stress right now. I just command it to lift and to go right now in Jesus' name, right now. Any little bit of stress, any residue of stress, worry, fear, go now in Jesus' name right now. Father, I just release your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace right now, your Holy Spirit, your goodness, your faithfulness, Lord God, just flood over in and through her, Lord, into her circumstance, Lord, into her life into her mind, her heart, Lord God, into her family, her home, and everywhere. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. He has shoku urra aratiki in a maria tia to roku and anamaharia tiata. So, Jay Lisa, you're asking for a prayer for strength and for more of the Holy Spirit. So, listen, God has promised to take you from strength to strength and glory to glory. Amen. It's one of his promises to you. And he's promised us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, that we can be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Amen. And so God wants you to know today that his strength belongs to you, that it's part of who he is and that he is your portion. Amen. So he wants you simply to receive the strength that belongs to you. And I want to bind just... Oh, goodness. I mean, there's just like witchcraft that comes against you. But God is bigger. God is greater. And God is with you. God is for you. And God wants you simply to focus on him and on his goodness. Amen. God is so much bigger, so much greater. Right now, though, I just find all heaviness right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that's tried to come against Jaylisa, I bind it, rebuke it. I command it to go now. I command it to bow to the name of Jesus right now, right now. Every affliction right now, every assignment of darkness right now, I bind it, I rebuke it right now. I command it to go, to dissipate in Jesus' name. I hear the word dissipate, dissipate. And I see like a, like, um, I see like um, dissipation, like when there's something that's a solid and it dissipates, it's like, it, it like goes away, like a fog lifts. I just see like that there has been, um, a fog that's been coming against you, pressing against you. I command it to go now in Jesus name. All right. So I'm having someone asking me to pray um, over their chest. They're uncomfortable and having difficulty breathing. And so, yes, absolutely. I would be happy to pray. Father, right now I bind and I rebuke any attack against them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I release your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace, Lord. I speak to the heart. I speak to the airwaves right now. I speak to the lungs, Lord God. I speak to the oxygen and the blood, Lord God. Right now, Father, I command all pain, all infirmity to go now in Jesus' name. All heaviness go now in Jesus' name right now. Father, I release your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace. I release wisdom to you, Lord God. Right now, Father, I speak deliverance right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, right now, right now. He has shoku ura aratiki in a maria dia do rohora haratia dam. We thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pearl, I want you to tell me what exactly it is that you're looking for from the Lord. Amen. Isaac, I want to. Pray over you.
We thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit that is the spirit of truth and, and revelation and wisdom, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit leads us into all truth, Lord God. And so I thank you, Lord, that you're going to establish Isaac's thoughts and direct Isaac's path, Lord God. Father, you told us in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 to lean not on our own understanding, Lord God, but to acknowledge you in all of our ways and that you would make our path straight. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you make Isaac's path straight, Lord God, that he has the mind of Christ, that he hears a voice behind him saying, this is the way and to walk in it. So I just release that supernatural wisdom right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I uproot any thought not of you too, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, too, that you would give him just great discernment, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that he has ears to hear your voice and eyes to see, Father, I ask you, Papa, just to give him wisdom, direction, strength, help, Lord God, joy. I hear the word joy. I, I declare restoration and peace and joy over you, brother, right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And so, Pearl, yes, I just want to uh, pray for your comfort and for your peace. We know that the Holy Spirit is our comforter, that he's He's with us, that he's for us, that he is uh, the one that just holds us to. Sometimes um, Pearl said that their family lost their father. And so, Father, we want to thank you that you've given us the fellowship of the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to help us. Father, you told us in Deuteronomy 33, verse 12, that we could rest on your chest. I thank you, Lord, that Pearl and her family can snuggle up, Father, just in your love, Lord God, during this time of, of sorrow. And I thank you too, Lord God, that even in the midst of our pain and our suffering and our sorrow, Lord God, that we still have your joy, that your joy is our strength, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, that you would help Pearl and her family, Father, to to see the things that they have to be joyful for, Father, like the fact that her father is already in heaven and, and rejoicing in heaven and full of joy and full of life and no, no longer suffering in any way, Lord God. I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord, that we'll see the people that have went on before us again, Lord God, and that because we know that we'll see them again, Lord God, that we can look forward to seeing them again. But I want to thank you too, Lord God, that you are our comforter and our helper and our source of strength and that you are the one that sees our every tear, Lord, and hears our every cry and that you've given us the Holy Spirit to comfort us and to help us and strengthen us, Lord God. And so right now I just release the comfort of the Holy Spirit, the peace of the Holy Spirit, Father, that peace that passes all understanding, Lord, that guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just speak comfort, peace, help, encouragement, strength over you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Esther Chand, I hear the Holy Spirit say that the greater things are still to come. That the greater things are still to come. That God has some amazing things in store for you. Some amazing things in store for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see things getting brighter for you, Esther. I see God working things out for your good, Esther. God says, I'm with you. I'm for you. And, and even though you've passed through some things that aren't easy, that he's been establishing you in his goodness. He's been establishing you in his faithfulness. He's been establishing you in his love. Amen. He's such a faithful and a good and a loving father. Amen. He has shoku ura in The Bible tells us that his love reaches to the heavens and his faithfulness to the skies. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. I just hear him saying, I'm faithful, daughter. I'm faithful, daughter. And he's pleased with you. He's pleased with you. And he says, don't grow weary in well-doing for in due season. You will reap. He says, don't lose heart. Don't lose heart. Amen. He says that there's changes coming. And this is for more than one of you. You know, so many people have been going through just times of transition. There are times of transition. There's been winds of change that have been released over the face of the earth. Winds of change. Just a minute. Let me get a drink real quick. Hallelujah. God has released winds of change. Amen. He's released his breath. Amen. He's released his fire. He's released the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so he's blowing away things that are not of him. He's burning up things that are not of him, obstacles, you know, things that would try to hinder and, and hold people back and down because he's raising people up for his purpose and plan. Amen. He's raising them up for his purpose and plan. And he's raising us up in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. He's empowered you. He's made you a champion. He's made you a victor, not a victim. Amen. 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 Yes, Linda, to be more like him. Amen. And so it comes through surrender. It comes through being willing to just lay at his feet, prostrate before him. Amen. And just being willing to let the Holy Spirit teach us, lead us, and guide us each and every single day. And so, Jeanette, yes, I would be happy to pray for you. Amen. You're asking me to pray for healing. Amen. Listen, it's God's will to heal. God is your healer. He's your helper. Amen. And what Jesus took to the cross is not yours to carry. Amen. And so, Father, right now, I lift your daughter to you, Lord God. I command the pain in her body, the affliction, the infirmity, everything trying to exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus. I don't know if you have cyst, but I see like a growth or something. I don't know. I command that to dissolve right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, right now. I speak healing over your nerves right now in Jesus name. Father, right now I just apply the blood of Jesus over your daughter from the top of her head to the tip of her toes, Lord God. I ask you, Papa, right now just to saturate her with the blood of Jesus, to saturate her with the Holy Spirit, to send forth your living word right now. In Jesus' name, right now. He has Right now, all pain, you go now. In Jesus' name, right now. All pain, all affliction, all infirmity, you lift and you go right now. Father, right now, I just declare and I decree, Lord God, that she is a temple of the Most High God, that she's holy ground, Father. That she's holy ground, Lord God. She is your dwelling place. The Holy Spirit lives in her. The healer lives in her. I thank you, Lord, that you are her healer. Right now, I command her body to line up with the living word of God. Command all pain right now just to flush out of her body. I command her blood, Lord God, to be whole too. In Jesus' name, I command there to be balance and normality in the blood, Lord God, right now in Jesus' name. All pain go. Listen, there's someone within the sound of my voice that you are dealing with pain, like pain in backs. I just, there's someone that you have back pain and God wants to remove that back pain. And so right now I want to just speak over backs right now in the name of Jesus. If you have pain in your back, your neck, or into your shoulders or in your wrist or your hands right now, I want you to just reach out in faith and receive this word right now. Father, right now I just lift up each person dealing with pain, Lord God, in their spine or in their abdomen, Father right now in their back, in their neck, right in their shoulders, Lord God. Right now, I just lift them to you. 
Father, right now I declare and I decree that they're holy ground, that they are blood-bought children of the Most High God, that they're sanctified and redeemed right now. Father, I want to thank you that according to Psalm 107, verse 20, you sent forth your word to heal. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you, Father, that your word is the standard that raise, is raised. And I want to thank you, Lord, that it's your will to heal. Father, you told us in the third book of John, chapter 1, verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all else for you to be in good health and prosper. And Father, what Jesus took to the cross is not ours to carry. And so right now, I speak to all pain right now, all infirmity, all affliction right now, I command it to go now in Jesus' name right now. All pain, all infirmity, all affliction right now, all heaviness right now, right now, go now in the name of Jesus. And Father, right now, I just release your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace, your healing, virtue, Father, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit right now over backs, Lord God, over necks, over shoulders right now. I command all heaviness to go now, go now. In Jesus' name, right now. We thank you, Lord. And Father, I pray that if there's been anything like unforgiveness or bitterness, Lord God, or anger or resentment, Lord God, that someone's been holding on to, that right now, Lord God, they would let it go. They would let it go, that they would repent right now of any unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, resentment right now. In Jesus' name, Father, I repent, Lord God, uh, for them, Lord God, of any unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, resentment, Lord God, anything that's been tying them up and holding on to them that's been an open door for the enemy to walk through. I bind it. I rebuke it right now. I command it to go now in Jesus' name right now, right now. Right now, I close every open door to the enemy right now. And Father, I just release your words, your thoughts, your love, your joy, your peace. And Father, I command backs to come into alignment right now. In the name of Jesus right now, I speak alignment over backs, over spines, over necks right now. I ask you, Lord, just to release your breath of life right now, Father. Flood over and in through each of those that have been dealing with pain, Lord God, with your breath of life right now, I speak restoration right now. Restoration, Lord God, restoration. I command the nerves, Lord God, to be restored. I command the disc to be restored, Lord God, right now in Jesus' name. I command all inflammation to go, all bloating in abdomens to go now in Jesus' name right now. Right now, all discomfort. There's someone within the sound of my voice that you've been dealing with acid reflux. You've been dealing with acid reflux. Um, like you you feel pain in your chest. It's been like a, but it's been because the Lord's telling me it's because of acid reflux. And so right now I just find and I rebuke that acid reflux right now in Jesus name, in Jesus name. And I just speak healing and and health over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God wants to bring restoration to more than one of you. I'm just speaking restoration right now. Restoration over hearts, over minds, over lives right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, over finances, over relationships. Listen, listen. God is the God of abundance of life. Amen. Jesus is our healer, our helper, our restorer. Amen. What Jesus took to the cross is not yours to carry. Amen. Amen. You have fullness of life in and through Jesus Christ. Right now, I want to speak to that trauma, Lisa. Jay, Lisa, right now, I speak to all trauma right now. In the name of Jesus, trauma, you will listen to me. You will go now. In Jesus' name, right now, all trauma, you will flee. You've been resisted. You will flee right now. In Jesus' name, right now, right now, rejection, you go to right now. Fear, anxiety, stress, go now. Heaviness, go. 
right now. Every affliction go now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And Papa, I ask you, Lord, just to comfort your children too. I thank you, Lord, just for your peace that passes all understanding that guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that your perfect love drives away any form of fear. Right now, I just release your love, your love, Lord, right now. In Jesus' name. He has shoku ura arati ki in an amaria dia do roku an an amaria dia dum. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, your love, Lord God. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, King Jesus. You are. Our great I am. You are our victor, our champion, and we have victory in you. We are always led in triumph in Christ Jesus, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Joshua, you're asking for prayer for your dad. I would be happy to uh, pray for your dad, Joshua. Father, right now I just lift up. Kim Justin Roswell to you, Lord God. Ki ena na Maria diki ero ko no na mora arati ki ena na Maria diki ero arati ata. Rati ki ena na Maria diki ishiki edu ro ko no na mora arati ki ena na Maria arati ata. I want to thank you, Lord, that you're the God of hope that you're our helper, our healer, our strengthener, Lord God, that you make a way where there seems to be no way, Lord God, that you're the one, Lord, that is a light in the darkness that pierces the darkness, Lord God. Right now, I just speak peace over this dad, healing, health, strength, joy, Lord God, victory. Ratiki ishiki edo roko no no more aratiki e di era harati ata. I hear the Lord just saying to shout with the voice of triumph, to shout with the voice of triumph. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I think of how, you know, God directed the children of Israel to march around Jericho. Amen. They just marched around Jericho. Hallelujah. And then they blew the trumpets and they shouted. Amen. They shouted with the voice of triumph. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the devil is defeated and Jesus is Lord. Amen. He is our resurrected Savior, Savior who has redeemed us from every curse. Amen. But it's important to understand that you've been given all power and dominion and authority to Luke 10, 19 says that you've been given power over all the power of the enemy. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Linda, I love that. And I agree with that. Linda says we are supposed to be children, not adults. We are children of God. Amen. I love that God wants for us just to be like children with him. Amen. We are children of the most high God. Amen. God wants us just to shout with the voice of triumph and to receive him as a child you know, listens and is led. Amen. God doesn't want for us to do things in our own strength or ability, you know, but for us simply to depend upon him and to take him at his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to repeat this verse. I, I said it once earlier, but I feel like I'm supposed to repeat it again. But the Bible tells us in first John chapter three, verse one, what great love God has lavish upon us that we should be called children of the most high God. And that is what we are. And, you know, that was something the Holy Spirit was talking about in the first part of this broadcast, even that we need to just be so sure of God's love. Amen. We need to understand that we're accepted, that we're dearly beloved 
children of the Most High God, that we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people. You know, sometimes we have to choose to make a, a sacrifice of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. God wants for us to rejoice, to make the choice to rejoice each and every single day, no matter what we may be going through. And as we do, amen, that praise, that worship, that keeping our eyes on him, amen, it will silence the foe and the avenger. Amen. 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 So I want to encourage you to just surrender to that worship, surrender to that praise, amen, surrender to that tenderness, amen, to that just dependency and that willingness to say, you know what, God, you know what, I can't do it in my strength and ability, amen, but I'm going to rest in you. I'm going to just rest in your goodness, your faithfulness and love. I'm going to live in your word and let your word live in me, amen, and I'm going to speak your word. I'm going to declare, I'm going to decree, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when Jesus taught us how to pray, he said that we were to pray his kingdom come, his will be done. Amen. Amen. And so God is telling you to call forth the kingdom. Amen. Amen. To rise up as a worshiper, to rise up as a child and to take your place in faith. Amen. Not in your own strength, not in your own ability. Amen. But just in a dependency upon him, knowing that it's not by, by power, it's not by might, but it's by his spirit. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit just great is your faithfulness. God is faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful. The Bible says his love reaches to the heavens, his faithfulness to the skies. God wants you to know that his faithfulness is great. Amen. That his love is steadfast, that his love never fails, that he's with you, that he's for you. Amen. Amen. And he wants you to receive that today and to rest in that today. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you know the Bible says to sing to each other in songs, hymns, and spiritual songs? Amen. And to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and to sing in the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to sing in the spirit. Amen. To pray in the Holy Spirit too, because as you pray in the Holy Spirit, that will build you up in the Lord too. Amen. And so God wants you to be built up, to be encouraged for you to stand. Amen. The Bible tells us in Jude chapter one, verse 20, to build yourselves up in your most holy faith by praying in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. And so, Kara, right now, I just lift you and your daughter up to Papa right now. In Jesus' name, I speak grace and peace over you right now from God, the Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. I hear the word restoration. I don't know what that's about, but I just speak restoration, restoration over you in every way. In Jesus' name, I just command restoration to come. I thank you, Father, for your goodness. I thank you for your purpose, your, your plan, Lord God. I thank you, Father. I give you glory. I give you praise. I, I just bless your daughters, Lord God. I thank you, Father, that you are with them, for them, Lord God, that you bind them together in love. 
that you bind them together in love in your purpose, in your will, in your plan. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I love that you worship day and night. Linda says, I worship day and night. Amen. You know, the the Bible talks about how we can even meditate and worship on our beds when we lay on our beds. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, something that I like to do is I like to play worship music even softly in my house, um, even as I sleep. I just like want my spirit to be constantly just in a state of worship. Amen. Um, and so God wants, you know, for us just to be in a state of worship. Amen. Um, because he inhabits his praises. Amen. And um, he wants to just flood through our, our house but also this house, amen, because we're his temple, amen. And so I want to encourage you to worship the Lord, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice, amen, praise God. There's someone within the sound of my voice that you've had some trouble sleeping. You've had some trouble sleeping, amen, and God wants to bless your rest. And so right now I just want to declare and decree some sweet sleep over those within the sound of my voice father you've promised in proverbs 3 24 that when we lay down we will not be afraid when we lay down our sleep will be sweet and so papa right now right now i declare sweet sleep over those within the sound of my voice i thank you that you give your beloved rest Lord god i pray lord that as they lay down, Lord God, that they will be able just to rest in your peace and your presence, that they'll have dreams and visions from you, Lord God, and that they'll be able to just even enter into the glory realms. Father, I declare and I decree that their homes are holy habitats, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Listen, if you've had trouble sleeping, I want for you to write Proverbs 3, 24 on a piece of paper and to slip it in your pillow. Amen. And for you to speak that out loud too. But I declare and I decree that over each one of you right now, the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 24, when I lay down, I will not be afraid. When I lay down, my sleep will be sweet. And so I declare and I decree that sweet sleep over each one of you. I pray that you just will feel Papa holding you in his peace and his presence because he is a wall of fire around you and he is a banner of love over you. He surrounds you. He covers you with a song. Amen. Amen. And so I just declare and I decree that goodness, that blessed rest over each of you in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Listen, God loves each one of you so much. Amen. I want to just encourage and strengthen you. I want to thank you so much for joining the broadcast today. Amen. Listen, what Jesus took to the cross is not ours to carry. I do have to wrap up the broadcast, but I want to just pray a prayer over everyone. Amen. So, Father, right now, I just lift up each need to you right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, that Jesus took our every sickness, our every shame, rejection, pain, Lord God, lack, Lord, infirmity. Lord God, torment, Lord God, depression, heaviness, Lord. He took it to the cross, Lord, so that we did not have to carry it, Lord God. And so right now, Lord, I declare and I decree that each person within the sound of my voice, Lord God, that they cast their cares upon you. And Father, I just release your fullness of life over each one of them, the fullness of life that stirs in and through Jesus Christ and everything that's been trying to exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ Jesus. I command it to go now in Jesus name. And Papa, I just release your goodness. I release your presence, your spirit, your faithfulness, your love, your joy, your strength. Lord God, I just thank you that you release your blessings too in Jesus name. 
in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now listen, if you have never received Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior, amen, then now is the perfect moment, the perfect time. Amen. There is no greater miracle, no greater blessing or gift. You know, there is nothing, you know, that's greater that you could do than receiving Jesus as your Lord and King. Amen. And laying your life down in him. You know, this fullness of life that we've been talking about, it all comes through a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage you to repeat this prayer after me. God, I receive the gift of your love. I receive the gift of your son. I repent of my sin. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart, to be my Lord, and to be my Savior. And Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I ask you to fill me through, to flood over me, in me, and through me for your purpose and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And everyone says, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 So I just rejoice with all of heaven over you if you said that prayer today. Amen. And I just declare and I decree God's goodness over each one of you, grace and peace and love and joy in every way. And I thank you so much for being part of the broadcast today. Amen. And I hope to see you soon. I want to encourage you to to follow glad tidings amen and to listen to some of the other ministers too because i believe that they will be a blessing to you love you guys have an amazing resurrection sunday amen i'm so grateful thankful that we serve a risen savior praise god hallelujah